Activists gathered in the Mesa Junction this afternoon to call for the removal of the Christopher Columbus Monument, which they see as a symbol of racism. Meanwhile, many from Pueblo's Italian American community who take pride in the monument gathered there to support to voice their support. News 5's Mayo Davison joins us live with more about the protests and how it all went. Hello, Andy. It's empty now, but earlier this afternoon, this area was filled with protesters and supporters of the Christopher Columbus statue. A rally was held for people to voice their concern over the removal of the statue. And while activists say it needs to be removed because of what it represents for the indigenous population, the other side says it represents unity. It got heated as tensions grew between protesters and supporters over the removal of the Christopher Columbus statue on Abriendo Avenue. The statue has stood in the Mesa Junction for decades, a symbol of unity, dedication, and hard work for Italian Americans. It was the immigrants that built this city. It really was. The Italians and the Mexicans and the Slovenians and everyone, that's who built Pueblo. And that's what we're proud of. On the other side, activists say the statue promotes idealization of white supremacy and violation of civil liberties. And as our culture evolves from our historical roots, change needs to happen in order to grow. It's about time that change actually happens, and it's important because there is a shift happening in our country, in the world right now, and we need to stop idolizing false history. We need to stop idolizing murderers. We need to stop idolizing the colonizers. I believe both sides are right in regards to the situation, but I don't believe a statue needs to be represented at all costs. But for some, the removal of the statue isn't a solution. I don't know what they're going to solve by taking the statue down. It'll make them feel better a little bit. If the statue is removed, some say it should be replaced with something that represents the people of the city. I think it could just be something to honor, you know, the fallen, the, the colonized the murdered and missing indigenous women. It could be Pueblo as a whole. One thing both sides tried to convey was that history can't be changed, but we can learn from it. We need to teach our children the truth about our history. Activists plan on doing protests weekly. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Mayo Davison, News 5.